Hello Elvis fans. I'd like to talk a little bit about the autopsy that was performed on um, what was supposed to be Elvis's body. Um, a little bit is about all we can talk about this because the full autopsy was conveniently sealed uh, for 50 years. Uh, so if I'm uh, still around and able, uh, maybe we can do a better video in the year 2027. But that being said, what we have to work with is plenty to discredit this autopsy. Uh, first off, we have the medical examiner's report. Now, typically a medical examiner's report is about 40 to 50 pages long. It details everything. However, the medical examiner's report that we have on Elvis is two pages. They, uh, they left a lot out of this. I have some notes here that I've written down. Uh, to start off with this autopsy, first, the uh, Dr. Francisco, uh, which is uh, the doctor that performed the autopsy, he formed an opinion before the autopsy was complete as to what the cause of death was. Uh, we have him listed with uh, congestive heart failure, heart arrhythmia. Uh, I'm not sure how he knew that without completing the autopsy, but that, that's one problem that we have with this. Um, by the way, the, uh, the medical examiner's report does have Elvis's middle name spelled A-R-O-N. Um, I don't know if that means anything or not, but that's how they have it. We go back and forth a lot on that. Um, but he made a lot of mistakes. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the doctor. Dr. Francisco was, was known to be very thorough uh, in an autopsy. Uh, typically made no mistakes at all. Uh, however, in Elvis' autopsy, uh, this would turn out to be quite different. Um, there were no photographs taken of the body that they autopsied. This is not just not done in an autopsy. Photos are always taken. But we have no pictures of this autopsy. Now, uh, there were no fingerprints taken. There were no dental prints taken. Uh, all we have to go on that this was Elvis's body uh, that was autopsied is the doctor's word for it. Um, there was no analysis of the stomach contents. And in fact, the, uh, the stomach contents were destroyed before the autopsy even began. Uh, so, for a doctor that is known to be very thorough in an autopsy, he really messed this one up big time. Um, another huge problem we have is uh, the body that he autopsied is listed in the autopsy report as weighing 170 pounds. And I think we all know uh, Elvis did not weigh 170 pounds uh, in 1977. Um, and here's a huge one that's mentioned. Um, in the autopsy report, it mentions a long scar. I'm going to read this word for word for you. Um, long scar on the chest running the full length of the chest perpendicular. The scar had been healed 
for some time. An old chest operation was evident on the cadaver which the autopsy was performed on. Elvis had never had such an operation. Elvis never had open heart surgery, anything that would have created a scar the full length perpendicular. I mean, when he performed on stage, uh, he always wore the open jumpsuits, you could see his whole chest. Uh, Elvis never had such an operation. So you can see where we have a lot of problems with the autopsy, even though we don't even have the full autopsy because it's sealed until 2027. Um, everything else on the medical examiner's report would be correct um, as far as it being Elvis. Uh, they have his, they even have his middle name spelled the way it should be. Uh, they have his address, his hair color, his eye color, um, everything else is, is what it should be other than the weight of 170 pounds. Now a lot of people say, well that's because they weighed him <laughs> after the autopsy and all of the organs had been removed, um, then they weighed Elvis and he weighed 170 pounds. Well. <laughs> Any professional doctor that performs autopsies will tell you, you don't wait until then to weigh the body. That's not going to give you proper identification. Uh, so we have the wrong weight. Uh, <laughs> so, so many things wrong here. Uh, we have the wrong weight. We have no way whatsoever to identify this body. No photographs, fingerprints, dental prints. Uh, nothing uh, and we have an old heart or chest uh, surgery uh, I don't know who this autopsy was performed on but uh, it's pretty evident even with what little material we have to go with uh, it's pretty evident uh, that that was not Elvis Presley and in the year 2027 I'm if I'm around, I really want to see and read the full autopsy report. Uh, but, like I said, we can't say much about the autopsy. That's really all we have. But, I'm pretty sure that's enough uh, to discredit uh, this, this, this whole autopsy and the doctor that did it. Even though this doctor was well known uh, to do a great job with no mistakes, uh, it looks like from the time he started this one until the time he finished, it was nothing but a series of mistakes that he knew better than to make. So, uh, something else for you to think about. Just another piece of the puzzle and another part of the mystery. Uh, we'll get into another one in the next video. Thanks for being with me. See you next time.